Okay, so um, yes, uh, you know, uh, so how I sort of see the thing of like certain uh, churches, uh, you know, I actually had the experience of uh, going to a church and, say, and so them sort of saying to me, this is the only church in the whole world where you can find salvation, there is no other church. And you get all of these kinds of things that different sort of uh, groups sort of say that this is the only way or this is, you know, with, with sort of, my, these are my personal views with Jesus, you've got to understand that at the time uh, that Jesus was around, um, the context, you know, he was talking to uh, the, the Jews there and, um, and I would say he was the only teacher of salvation, probably in the, in the, I'm pretty sure he was the only teacher of salvation in the whole country and in, in the whole area. There wasn't like TV or like um, airplanes uh, or global news. So in, in a place where uh, there's a lot of ignorance and, and there's a lot of uh, false gods saying, um, I am the way, the truth and the life would be true in the, you know, that would, if you were a spiritual teacher or an, a savior, or enlightened person, you would, you would say that because to, to help the people come out of illusions and to choose probably, and to choose for him, it would be, he would be the, the way and the life. There wasn't like a, another savior in the country. So to say that would be integrous and the right thing to do to lead, if you like, all the stray sheep in that country. Now, in uh, if it was a different context, you know, if um, if it was a few hundred years, there was TV, and you know, uh, uh, Jesus knew that um, um, Buddha was next door, then you know what he would say would probably be different because. Um, in the context of, and depending on the level that society is at and what's going on, the level of consciousness, you know, he, he'd probably say, that's my view, he'd say something different. But it's the right thing to do in the context. You've got to sort of see the context in which things are said. And also when people interpret what a teacher has said, you know, there can be things, I think there can be a lot of uh, guilt put on, on things like, um, and, and for the spiritual seeker, I think it is very difficult. I think things like um, in the Bible, to be weary of choosing other paths instead of uh, you might go down. I, but I think if you just to choose the Bible by its fruits, you shall know it. I think in the 12 steps, we always try and share our experience, not our belief systems with each other. You know, if you work a 12 step program, uh, an alcoholic will not tell you their beliefs, but will say, look, uh, I worked the 12-step program, and my experience is I'm 40 years sober. So you're, so by the fruits of the program and the experience of those, you then spiritually can discern whether there is truth in the 12-step program, which is life-supporting, rather than whether it's a pathway to hell or something, or a, a pathway of falsehoods. You know, when I met uh, also muscle testing, if you know someone who's good at muscle testing, Muscle testing or kinesiology is a good way of um, discerning um, discerning true pathways and true teachers from false teachers and false pathways. So definitely, if you don't know anything and join the local satanic group and they say this is the way, the truth, and the life, I mean, obviously they're they're a false group. They won't show you the way to truth. They'll show you a way to darkness. So for the spiritual seeker. Um, it is important to choose a group and a teacher and a book which calibrates high, which is of high truth. But um, often in, in spiritual groups and spiritual teachers which are calibrating integrous or are of high truth, uh, people will generally start to get well, happier, more free, their illnesses will start to go and people, you know, addictions will fall away. Whereas in places which are more teaching falsehoods, everyone will start to go into addiction, falsehood, victimhood. So by the fruits, and, and also once you become more advanced as a spiritual student, you, your own spiritual experience, you know, if you are not sure about 12-step program, but as you clear away, you'll start to get intuition like, hey, these, these alcoholics are all telling the truth, they all got well, they're not all liars in here. And uh, 
so you can discern true programs, true pathways, and true books from the falsehood. I really like uh, Hawkins' research, like uh, he, can, he could calibrate. What was very interesting with his muscle testing calibrations is I believe in the King James version of the Bible, uh, Jesus says something like, um, oh, why, oh God, why have you abandoned me? Something like that. And if you use muscle testing, if you get your arm and do the muscle testing with a good muscle tester kinesiologist, that statement comes out at false. But in the Aramaic Bible, if, in the Aramaic Bible, it comes out that it, Jesus didn't actually say that. And if you check that with the muscle test, um, it comes out as truth. So muscle testing, your own experience, people who share their experience um, can be indicators for leading to, to, the, to, to truth. Okay. Um